Reserve was founded in 1968 after a public appeal which was based on the fact that there was a dreadful drought in 1967 and uh, a lot of the wombats were starving and dying so public appeal was very successful and we bought uh, 2,000 hectares of, of land uh, on the, what used to be 4T station and um, that, that set up this reserve which we called Murundi Wildlife Reserve. We estimate there's probably about 2,000 wombats on the reserve. The reserve is um, managed by the Natural History Society and we have uh, volunteer rangers who come up each weekend on a roster and uh, check the fences and uh, read the rain gauges and um, otherwise look for damage around the place. Every month there's a uh, what we call volunteer and visitor days. It's really a working bee and uh, at that we have as many volunteers as possible come and do things like uh, repairing tracks and uh, repairing fences and removing weeds, all those sorts of boring but necessary tasks. There is a uh, self-guided nature trail just here. It gives you an idea of uh, this area is a semi-arid environment and uh, all the plants have adapted to that environment and, and uh, so have the animals. There are a couple of wombat warrens on the trail. Uh, one of the most common comments we get in the visitors book is where are the wombats? But people actually need to realise that they're nocturnal and they don't come out during the day very often. Um, I got involved with Morundi three years ago and it's a great experience to come up and meet some people who are also here for an experience of doing some hard work during the day we go out and weed and um, do what needs to be done around the park and then in the evening we relax and catch up around the campfire um, share a dinner sometimes around the table or, or we can do our own thing and uh, it's a fantastic way to relax. The favourite thing that I would enjoy the most is, um, is relaxing at the end of the day and waking up in the morning um, and the only sound is the birds uh, and the wind. So you're totally away from the city and uh, at night you see the most amazing stars um, all around you, uh, absolutely spectacular. I've seen emus, kangaroos, wallabies, um, eagles, wombats, there's so many things and, and great birds so uh, there's so much to learn.